Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. Don't forget to subscribe. And today, we are once again talking about Google because they're once again reading your emails and your attachments, this time thanks to AI. And now here's how to opt out. So if you didn't know, I've been talking about this for years. The Wall Street Journal broke before the pandemic that Google was letting third-party human contractors into Gmail accounts to read your email completely unredacted, well, Google's at it again because they just added features that allow Gmail to access all of your private messages and attachments to train its AI models, like I just said. Now, reportedly, Google has recently started automatically opting users in to allow uh, Gmail to access all private messages, attachments for training on its AI models, and more. And for the record, I just went to my Gmail account uh, before I recorded this, and sure enough, these were enabled for me as well. In other words, I never had an option. There was no notification that I saw. Uh, they simply just opted me in to start reading all of my stuff. So what this means is that your emails could also be analyzed to improve Google's AI assistance like Smart Compose, AI-generated replies, all that kind of stuff. Now, the alleged reason behind this is what you think it is. It's Google's desire to power a new Gmail feature or features with its Gemini AI, helping us to write emails faster, manage our inboxes more efficiently. And I'm telling you right now, Google, I can write and manage on my own okay. So I don't want your AI in any of my stuff. So to do this, obviously, they're using real email content, including your email, your attachments, and all of this to train and refine its AI models. Some users have been reporting that these settings are switched on by default instead of asking for an explicit opt-in. As I just said, I validated that myself. I was opted in. I had no idea that this existed until today. So let's opt out. Now, here's how we do this. I'm going to go nice and slow. If you're on your phone, that works. If you're on your desktop, that works too. But either way, get into Gmail, desktop, mobile app, whatever it is. Now, with that you're going to see a gear icon uh, basically in your main inbox there in Gmail and you'll be an option that says see all settings if you're on the desktop or it'll just say settings if you're mobile. Either way, select see all settings or settings depending on how you're logging in and find the section called smart features in Gmail chat and meet. I had to scroll. I, I did this on the desktop. I had to scroll a bit, but it was there and I was checked into this uncheck that option. Now, as soon as I did that, it prompted me on the desktop to restart my Gmail, and which I did, and it refreshed itself, and I started getting notifications in my mailbox to say, hey, you don't have your smart features turned on. Click here to turn them on. That's a good sign. But we're not done, because we also have to turn this off in Google Workspace smart features as well. So get back into settings if you're not there again, Locate Google Workspace Smart Features. That's Google Workspace Smart Features. For me, when I scrolled down, it was below the initial one that I unchecked. Then when you find Workspace Smart Features, click Manage Workspace, uh, basically, and it'll pop up in a window, and you're going to see two options. It's like little tabs that you can turn off and on. Smart features in Google Workspace. Google Workspace is the first one and smart features in other Google products is the other. Toggle both of those off, hit save, and that did not ask me to restart, but I'm getting prompts to show me that all of this stuff is disabled now and that's exactly what I want to see. You can dismiss those prompts, etc. But that's how you clean this out and shame on Google for not giving us the option. Shame on Google and other platforms that have done this that have simply opted us in and let their AI read everything. Privacy should be first and foremost on these companies' minds and they just don't care. Now you know how to turn it off. Please go do it. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP where you should opt out for anything uh, that's going to violate your privacy. Same with YouTube, which is a Google product. Shame on you, Google. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please, please, please attempt to stay private, informed, and secure. Take care.